Hello and welcome to the Ghost Slayers Report. I'm with you as always, John Doyle, right here in Tokyo, Japan. If you're not aware, some very interesting comments were made by Liberal Democratic Party General Secretary Shigeru Ishiba regarding the continually growing outrage and protest against the secrecy law bill. As you know, it's currently being hammered through the so-called government here. He said this. He said, You must follow democratic principles. And the act of merely shouting one's opinion is not so fundamentally different from an act of terrorism. Now he also said, that in line with the fundamental democratic principles, you must try to gain as much support as you can. Let's get this straight, Mr. Ishiba. You believe in democracy. Is that right? Okay. You believe in democratic principles. Is that right? Okay. So, the people are extremely disconnected from their government here. You don't listen to anyone. The bourgeois government here has the idea they can do whatever they want. They don't need to what, hear what we say. So, we take to the street. And we tell you what we want. In no uncertain terms. We're trying to gain as much support as we can. And that's an act of terrorism. You see the reactionary logic here. Now, of course, when he made these statements, people just exploded and said, what the hell? Of, of naturally, of course, they should. Now, he tried to backtrack on this later on and say, demonstrations are not particularly an act of terrorism. But they are rather noisy. You're not listening to the will of the people. If you were, there would not be protest or people in the street yelling at you. In fact, if you really were following the will of the people, this whole state secrets law wouldn't even be going through the government right now. We would not be having this conversation. Now would we, Mr. Ishiba? So that's the type of, you know, reactionary things that come out of the um, bourgeois government here. But you see, people are getting smarter to this in Japan. They're seeing just how opaque the things they say to us are. And people are starting to see through it. But you know, by him equating demonstrations to the act of terrorism, it's also an insight into exactly what the state secrets law is going to be used for. Now they say that, you know, anyone who tries to get information out of the government using coercion is an illegal, will be an illegal act. So, you can easily see how they could define taking to the street and what he says, merely shouting and screaming your opinion could be interpreted as coercion and threatening. But you know, the bourgeois government is threatening us, threatening us, the proletariat, the working class. So, we respond, or the people respond, by taking to the street. <laughs> That's class conflict going on. And I'm telling you, right now, if they go through with this state secrets law, they're going to come after the people. 
They're going to come after anyone on the street. I've experienced it myself. You know, it's to the point here that you stand on the street, simply stand there, and start speaking louder than what they want you to say, want you to speak. The police will come. They will try to shut you up, shut you down. But you must remember, we have freedom of expression in Japan. It's in the Japanese constitution. It doesn't say anything about the level of your voice or the tone of your voice. It says freedom of, of mind and thought and expression. So, if we're noisy, listen. Why are the people so noisy? As you, may, as you call it, Mr. Ishiba. There's a good reason why. The people are realizing here what the bourgeois government is up to. What you're trying to do. This is an attempt, attempt to attack us and come after us and make it legal to hammer the people down far more than the bourgeois government here already does. Far more. So they're coming. They're coming. Now this law is expected to pass the upper house, the Chancellor, house of chancellors this Friday. So using traditional means to stop this, quickly exhausting itself. The bourgeois government is not listening. No. The fascist Shinzo Abe is going to push this through. So what do the people do after this law becomes law and traditional means, I do put a quotation there, are exhausted? I think anyone who has a Marxist uh, mindset and a Marxist worldview knows what the next step should be. Well, like I say, it depends on the leadership of the people. As long as he's revisionist, reformist, social democrats are running the show, they won't call for what's needed to stop things like this once and for all. They won't. So consider your leadership when you have mass movements like this. Consider who is leading the masses. Who is leading the people? Who is leading the proletariat? And if that leadership is unwilling to organize and call for what's necessary, well, they must be replaced. And the proletariat themselves must take the initiative. Organize ourselves. Because we're not stupid. We can do it. We're fully capable. So that's all we say for now about this latest development. Of course, always John Dahl. Until next time. If it's the first time you've seen me, well, please subscribe. You'll get lots of videos like this, plus a slew of other stuff I'm sure you enjoy. So, until next time, in Tokyo. Check it out.